Would you know how to make contaminated water safe to drink if you had to? Today we're going to look at essential techniques for purifying water in emergencies. Whether you're camping, caught in a disaster, or anywhere without clean water, these methods can save your life. We'll explore different ways, from simple boiling to using filters and chemicals, to ensure you have safe drinking water when you need it most. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Clean Hydration. Today in this video, we will be talking about some of the best techniques for emergency water purification. Before jumping to our main video, let's talk about a bit regarding the importance of clean water. Clean water is essential for life. Every cell, tissue, and organ in the human body needs water to function correctly. It helps regulate body temperature, transport nutrients, and remove waste. However, the benefits of clean water extend beyond just health. It is a cornerstone of socioeconomic development critical for sustainable development. Globally, access to safe drinking water is a major public health issue. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, safe drinking water is crucial for preventing many diseases. Waterborne pathogens can cause illnesses such as cholera, dysentery, typhoid, and polio. Annually, unsafe water is responsible for over 485,000 diarrheal deaths. The lack of clean water also has a profound economic impact. Communities without access to clean water face higher health care costs and loss of productivity due to illness. This issue is particularly severe in rural areas and developing countries where people often spend significant time daily collecting water, which reduces time available for education or economic activities. Moreover, clean water is vital for agriculture and industry. It is used not only in the production of goods, but also in cooling, processing, and cleaning processes in various industries. This makes water a key factor in industrial development and food security. The need for clean water is also a matter of equity and justice. Access to clean water is unevenly distributed across the world. In many parts of the globe, marginalized communities have little access to this vital resource, which perpetuates cycles of poverty and inequality. In emergency situations, the importance of clean water is magnified. Natural disasters, such as floods and earthquakes, can disrupt water supplies and create conditions that increase the risk of waterborne diseases. In these critical times, knowing how to secure safe drinking water is not just a skill but a necessity for survival. 1. Understanding Water Contaminants When it comes to water purification, the first step is to understand the various types of contaminants that can make water unsafe for consumption. These contaminants fall into three primary categories, biological, chemical, and physical. Each type poses different risks and requires specific strategies for removal or neutralization. Biological Contaminants Biological contaminants are organisms or microbes that can cause health problems when ingested. This group includes the bacteria, such as E. coli, salmonella, and Vibrio cholera, which can cause severe gastrointestinal illness and, in some cases, life-threatening dehydration. Viruses, including norovirus, hepatitis A, and rotavirus, which are typically smaller than bacteria and can survive in environments where bacteria cannot. Protozoa and parasites, like Giardia and Cryptosporidium, which are larger than bacteria and viruses and often cause symptoms like diarrhea, nausea, and stomach cramps. Chemical contaminants. Chemicals can enter water sources through agricultural runoff, industrial discharge, or contamination from natural sources. Some common chemical contaminants include heavy metals, such as lead, arsenic, and mercury, which can cause neurological problems and chronic health issues. Pesticides and herbicides. Often used in agriculture, these can run off into water sources and are linked to a variety of health problems, including hormonal disruptions and cancer risks. Industrial chemicals, such as polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, and dioxins, which are extremely harmful even at low concentrations. Physical contaminants. These contaminants affect the clarity and appearance of water but can also pose indirect health risks by harboring biological or chemical contaminants. Physical contaminants include sediment, particles of organic and inorganic materials like silt, sand, and clay, which can make water cloudy and mask other hazards. Microplastics, small plastic pieces that not only pollute but can also absorb and carry other harmful chemicals. Organic material includes leaves, plant debris, and animal remains which can decompose in water and provide nutrients for microbes. Understanding these contaminants is crucial in determining the most effective purification technique. For example, boiling can kill biological contaminants but won't remove chemical toxins. Likewise, a simple filtration system might remove physical debris but may not be sufficient to eliminate viruses or heavy metals. Therefore, a comprehensive approach often involves combining multiple methods to ensure water is safe to drink. 2. Boiling The simplest method Boiling is the most straightforward and one of the most reliable methods to purify water. It doesn't require any sophisticated equipment or chemicals, making it an accessible option in almost any situation. Here's a detailed breakdown of how to boil water effectively to ensure it's safe for drinking. Steps to boil water 
Step 1. Choose your water source. Identify the clearest water available. If the water is visibly cloudy or contains large particles, it's best to pre-filter it using a clean cloth, coffee filter, or paper towel to remove larger contaminants. Step 2. Prepare the water. Fill a pot or kettle with water. Leave some room at the top so the water can boil vigorously without spilling over. Step 3. Boil the water. Place the pot on the stove or over your heat source. Turn the heat to high and bring the water to a rolling boil. Once the water reaches a full boil, where large bubbles are breaking the surface, keep it boiling for at least one minute. At altitudes above 5,000 feet, about 1,500 meters, extend the boiling time to three minutes because water boils at lower temperatures at higher elevations, which can affect its germ-killing efficiency. Step 4. Let the water cool. After boiling, remove the pot from the heat source and allow the water to cool naturally. Avoid adding ice or placing the pot in cold water to hasten cooling, as this can reintroduce contaminants. Step 5. Store the water properly. Once cooled, transfer the water to clean, sanitized storage containers. Cover the containers to prevent recontamination. Chemical disinfection. Chemical disinfection of water is a practical method for treating water when boiling is not feasible, such as when fuel or time is limited. This method involves adding small amounts of certain chemicals to the water which kill microorganisms through various mechanisms. The most commonly used chemicals are chlorine and iodine, but there are also newer options like chlorine dioxide. Here's how each method works. Chlorine disinfection using household bleach. Preparation. Ensure the bleach is regular unscented household bleach containing 5 to 6% sodium hypochlorite. Do not use bleach that contains perfumes, dyes, or other additives. Dosage. Add two drops of bleach per quart liter of clear water or four drops per quart of cloudy water. Procedure. Mix the bleach thoroughly into the water and let it stand for at least 30 minutes before drinking. The water should have a slight chlorine odor. If it doesn't, repeat the dosage and let it stand for another 15 minutes. Iodine disinfection. Using iodine tablets. Preparation. Iodine tablets are available at most camping or outdoor supply stores. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for the correct dosage as it can vary. Dosage. Typically, it's one tablet per quart liter of water. Procedure. After adding the tablet, shake or stir the water and let it stand for at least 30 minutes. Iodine works best in warm water. So if the water is cold or very cold, allow for a longer contact time. Chlorine dioxide. Using chlorine dioxide tablets, Preparation, like iodine, these are available in outdoor supply stores. They are effective against virtually all pathogens, including some that are resistant to chlorine. Dosage. Follow the package instructions as tablet strengths can vary. Procedure. After adding the tablets to the water, let it stand for at least 30 minutes. For some protozoans like cryptosporidium, wait up to 4 hours. Solar disinfection sodas. Solar disinfection, commonly known as sodas, is a cost-effective, environmentally friendly method to purify water using only sunlight. This method is particularly useful in areas with high solar radiation and is a simple technique that can be employed with minimal resources. Here's how to use the SOTUS method to purify water. How SOTUS works. Step 1. Choose the right containers. Use clear, transparent PET plastic bottles or glass containers. The containers should not be colored or cloudy as this can reduce the effectiveness of the sunlight. The size of the container should ideally be 2 liters or smaller because larger volumes of water may not be effectively disinfected. Step 2. Prepare the water. If the water is turbid or colored, filter it using a cloth or let it settle until it clears. Only clear water should be used because suspended particles can protect microorganisms from UV light. Fill the bottles to the top and tighten the cap to avoid any contamination. Step 3. Exposure to sunlight. Place the water-filled bottles on a roof or a rack preferably on a reflective surface to enhance UV exposure. Ensure that the bottles are exposed to sunlight for at least six hours if the sky is sunny, or up to two consecutive days if it's partially cloudy. The effectiveness of SOTUS is heavily dependent on weather conditions. It's less effective on cloudy days or in areas with frequent interruptions of sunlight. Step 4. Use the disinfected water. After the exposure time, the water should be consumed as soon as possible to avoid recontamination. Store the treated water in clean covered containers if not consumed immediately. Solar disinfection is an excellent option for individuals in sunny climates who might not have access to other forms of water purification. It is particularly effective in rural or disaster-struck areas where other resources might not be readily available. By understanding and implementing SOTUS correctly, communities can improve their access to safe drinking water with minimal costs and environmental impact. Filtration Systems Filtration is a versatile and effective method for purifying water, removing a wide range of contaminants from visible particles to microscopic pathogens. There are several types of filtration systems, each suited to different needs and scenarios. Here's a detailed look at how these systems work 
and how to choose and use them appropriately. How to choose a filtration system. Consider the contaminants. Different filters are designed to remove specific types of contaminants. For biological threats, bacteria, viruses, protozoa, a microfilter or purifier is necessary. For chemical pollutants, a filter with activated carbon is beneficial. Volume and flow rate. Consider how much water you need to filter daily. Larger groups or families will benefit from high volume gravity filters while solo travelers might prefer a small portable filter. Weight and portability. For backpacking or emergency kits, weight and size are critical considerations. Maintenance and longevity. Filters have varying lifespans before needing replacement. Ceramic filters can often be cleaned and reused, while others might need regular replacement of their filtering media. Advantages of filtration systems. Effectiveness. Modern filtration systems can remove up to 99.99% of waterborne pathogens, as well as chemicals and heavy metals, depending on the filter type. Convenience. Unlike chemical treatments, filters provide a taste-neutral solution without waiting for the chemicals to act. Sustainability. Most filters offer a sustainable option with replaceable elements, reducing waste compared to bottled water. Filtration systems are a powerful solution for ensuring safe drinking water in a variety of settings, from wilderness excursions to emergency preparedness at home. Choosing the right system based on specific needs and maintaining it properly can provide reliable access to clean water wherever you are. Knowing how to purify water is an invaluable skill in emergency situations. Each method has its advantages and limitations, and often the best approach is to combine methods for optimal safety. That's a wrap for today's video. I hope you benefited from today's video. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell to get updates as soon as we post a new informative video. Thanks for tuning in.